Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is part two. We got carried away with carcasses. Uh, so now we're doing a second video, but we're only Where I will get carried, carried away with pyro times. Yeah. Um... So, after we saw carcasses, there was a little, there's a little bit of a break. We went to Timmy's. Yeah, I went to Timmy's. I had some dinner. Yeah, it was great. It was good. It was yummy. I got some pants. Potato, potato and bacon soup. Potato and bacon soup. That was, was really, really good. It was good. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got some pants. You got some pants. And some nice pantalons. Why you some pantalons? And we sat, we stood at the, the dressing rooms for like 15 minutes waiting for someone to come and I kept ringing the buzzer. Yeah, and no one was on? I don't think they sell a lot of clothes in that store, so I think that's why they were like, "What's that buzzer? What's that buzzing sound?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was very weird. And then like, um, we played air hockey. Played some air hockey. That was lots of fun. Yeah, you kicked my butt. You're doing. You're pretty good with air <laughs> hockey. Wasn't on the A game, but the movies. Yes, <laughs> the movies. Then at seven thirty, um, they. Went, they were about to go into the short film, and um, they introduced, there's a special guest we've been kind of telling you guys about. Who was? <laughs> Rubenata. Rubenata. Who Ooh. directed Pharaoh Time. Yeah. So she, kind of, she came out and uh, kind of gave a brief uh, word about how she enjoyed making the movie, and um, kind of left it at that, and then they went right into the short film. Now... You can film? talk about the short film because I know how much you loved it. I loved it too, but go ahead. Uh, was it the? I want to say it, the Runaway, but I might it's be the, the Runaway. It's it's the Runaway. The Runaway. Okay, I always think about the Kristen Stewart movie coming out, the Joan Jett movie. Excuse me. The Joan Jett movie with Dakota Fanning and Kristen oh, Stewart coming yes. out. So I never know if I'm thinking about that one subconsciously. <laughs> so the Runaway. Um, it was an animated picture of a. Uh, and done by the guy who did a short film uh, on the song. It was like a music video for The Cat Came Back, which is a brilliant short, brilliant animated. You like that one? Right? Yeah. That, <laughs> that was a cat, and of course I like it. <laughs> so this one, uh, it's this kind of runaway train, and there's uh, three cars, and then the, the engine room. So the engine room, and then the one car is a bunch of like rich, uppity uh, type people and then the second one is like a whole bunch of kind of party hillbillies. hillbilly party animals and then the last one's like all the other conductors sleeping <laughs> and then but uh it just oh no i broke the pen i broke the pen i was fooling around with the pen clip that's over. my pen oh, i'm sorry I'm way into one. dang it okay. <laughs> um <laughs> so, okay so um we were talking about the runaway <laughs> so um yeah and like there the conductor gets uh kind of distracted and goes into another room by a woman mm -hmm. it's distracted by a lovely woman with her little uh <laughs> fluff ball dog <laughs> i love the dog the yeah. dog's my favorite it's just like a pom-pom ball i guess yeah. like a little pom-pom ball that's black and it looks like uh, just a ball of dust then it just opens it mouth, its mouth and starts barking. Is it a palm ball Moranian? Yep. <laughs> it is. Uh, so, <laughs> so he gets distracted, and then the assistant in the conductor's room uh, has to control the train, and the train ends up going bananas, and cars start to be uh, disconnected, and a lot of cow brutality ensues. And... Um, and it just, it's just following the adventures of uh, this runaway train and how this guy controls this train. Um, really, really well done. Favorite short. Okay. Yeah, it was very, very, very good. My favorite part was ending with, uh, starting with a cow and ending with a cow. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of a dark ending, too. It's so dark, but it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. I mean, it was really, really funny. The humor was there. And I, I really liked. The, it's something I haven't seen, uh, it, I don't think I've seen it before, but it's a lot of foreground and background, like there's animation going on in the foreground, yeah. and then while this is going on here, it's like this is going on back here, and like the camera's zooming in, and as the background comes up. Mm -hmm. It was cool. Yeah. It was my... 
yeah, demonstration. It was, it was actually a pretty good demonstration. <laughs> Uh, what else did you like about it? Um, everything. Oh, I know one part I really like. Um, you d you think it's gonna be silent, and then you hear them start like mumbling, but they're actually talking. And if you listen really well, they're speaking English, <laughs> and uh, it's really, really, really cute. I like their little words that they're, they're talking. Yeah, yeah. so cute. <laughs> I don't know. The animation was really, really cute, cool too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's cool stuff. Uh, now, what, what one would be your favorite short? That one. That one? That so, was my favorite short. Okay, right on. Cool. Yeah. So after that short, we went... Uh, <laughs> we went into a movie, our last movie of the film festival circuit. I guess we could call it a circuit. Uh, Cairo time. I always mess this up. Cairo time? Cairo time. Which you weren't a big fan of. Can you tell? <laughs> Um, I will describe the plot for Cairo Time. Uh, Cairo Time was about a woman, played by Patricia Clarkson, I think her name is. I don't care. Hold on. <laughs> yes, I got that right. Patricia Clarkson. She goes to, um, Egypt to visit, to kind of go on a vacation with her husband. Husband's part of the UN. He's off on a special mission. So she goes, you know, I'll hang out in Egypt. and uh, when Cairo. You get, Cairo. And uh, when when you get back, we'll, we'll have this little vacation. We'll visit the pyramids. And the husband goes, cool, okay. But in the meantime, uh, here's my work partner. And uh, he can assist you through uh, Cairo and show you all the neat things and show you around. Um... <sighs> And that, that's pretty much the story. And it was very much, uh, like, big lost in translation influence, big uh, before sunrise and before sunset, those kind of movies, because it's basically just um, them, like, the work assistant and the, and the woman walking around Cairo just talking 